Guys, buenos dias. Good morning. What's going on? I want to uh, show you the tool buffer. So I figured out, uh, anyways, I had an image I put on there and I'm going to show you how to rotate it. So first of all, buffer, uh, quick side note, if you're not using it, there's two that I'd recommend. And what it is, is a, is a social media manager where you can automatically post to uh, social media accounts. Um, buffer and Hootsuite are both good ones. Currently, I'm using Buffer. Uh, as of, so it's May 16th, 2018. And as of right now, just recently, um, you, you're now able to automatically post to Instagram as well for single photos, which is pretty amazing. So here's what I'm going to show you. I had an image that I posted, so I'm going to show you. Let's set up another one. Um, I'm going to show you what it does and what I'm talking about. So let's say I want to find this image real quick, no problem probably in here yep okay so I have this vertical actually let's use this one this vertical shot here okay as you can see this vertical shot when I load it buffer flips it horizontally I think is what's gonna happen we'll see in a moment so look at there it flipped it it flipped it to the left okay so obviously you don't want to post an image like that right on on uh, on Instagram so what do you need to do? Well, you need to rotate the, well, actually there's two things. There's two things that you can do. Um, so first you notice that it flipped it to the left. So if you rotate it 90 degrees to the right, it should upright that photo, correct? So let's take this image and we're gonna rotate it to the right 90 degrees. Now, how do I do that? Honestly, the easiest way, right click on the image, this is two things that I use uh, Microsoft Paint for. I literally don't use it for anything but things like this. I use it for two things. One is cropping, two is rotating images. It's so easy and just quick. You come up here and hit this View tab. Um, and actually, one of the first things I do after I do that is I zoom out just so I can see the image and what's going on. All right, so come back on Home, Rotate. Uh, what do we need to go? Right, 90 degrees, bam. All right, cool. Let's save that. I can't remember if I, say, if I made a copy of the file or not. First, you can make a copy of the file if you want to. But um, So let's go. Let's see if that's now in there. Yeah, here it is. So let's see what happened with this one now. Ah, this is what I remember. Okay, so this was actually a test that I wanted to do to see if that's if that's what it would do. So now it rotated it. Uh, it's it's now seeing it as a horizontal picture, I guess. Yeah. So now it's seeing it as a horizontal picture and thinking that that's how I took it. Um, this is actually interesting. This is the other thing that I wanted to test. And so now it's keeping it like that. So that means that my theory is correct. Sorry to kind of to slow you down and show you this. So I need to show you how to do the other thing, which is how to trim a photo in that uh, in that program. So what I'm gonna do is trim it, the vertical, the vertical photo, um, and have it upright. So I'm gonna take that same image I just rotated, and I'm gonna tell you why it's doing this, or what my theory is for why it's doing this. So again, open it with paint, Give another little tutorial on paint one. I'm like, oh man, I can't see. Oh, it's too, it's too zoomed in. So hit view, zoom out. This is literally what I do every time I'm editing a photo. So that's step one. Um, you're gonna see the three things that I do. So rotate, I guess, is something that I, I don't do often, but um, but in this case, that's what I'm doing. Um, the other thing that I use uh, paint for is to crop, right? And that's what I'm about to do. So right now, I have a vertical picture. If I crop this photo and make it look horizontal, this is the test that I did previously. Um, just as an example, let's say this is what I want to capture my picture. So I drag and drop that, let it go, hit the crop button. All right, so now I want to save this. So I can hit Control S or the save button up here. I usually just hit Control S. That's my quicker way. You saw it just saved. All right, so now I'm going to close this. 
Now you can see it's a horizontal picture. So I, what I think is that buffer sees that horizontal picture. This is the one that I did the other day, but this is the one that I just did. Let's upload this photo. Now you'll see that it's perfectly horizontal. So I think the tip of the trick with the buffer there is uh, either one, take your photos horizontally, or I guess on your phone, straight up and down. Um, don't turn your don't turn your camera. It may be different for different cameras. At least that's mine. I just if I hold it normally, like I'm talking on the phone, snap a photo. That'd be a horizontal photo. Or if you see that it's doing that in buffer, trim your photo so that it looks horizontally, and buffer will not try to turn that image. So that's your uh, your tip for today, uh, and how to rotate images in buffer. See you guys. See you on the next one. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Feel free to comment below if you have any more buffer tips uh, or with Hootsuite or other other things that you know about. And look forward to uh, making more videos with you guys. See ya.